Welcome, adventurers, to a journey of rediscovery in one of Ecuador's hidden gems. Today, we're diving into the heart of Cuenca, a city pulsating with history, culture, and breathtaking scenery. This is story for Fiona Mitchell, and this is Rediscovering Cuenca, a three-day adventure through Ecuador's cultural gem. When my husband Ken and I first moved to Cuenca in 2019, we were drawn to its UNESCO World Heritage charm. But like many, we found ourselves slipping into routines. Today, we're breaking free from the ordinary and inviting you to join us on a three-day escapade, rediscovering the beauty that Cuenca has to offer. From historic plazas to stunning national parks, each day unfolds a new chapter of exploration. So, fasten your seatbelts and let's embark on an adventure that will leave you yearning for the charm of Cuenca. This is Rediscovering Cuenca, and we're about to make memories that will last a lifetime. Good morning, fellow explorers. Our journey begins in the heart of Cuenca's historic center, where every cobblestone tells a tale. Day one is all about immersing ourselves in the rich culture that adorns these charming streets. We kick off the day with a leisurely breakfast, either at your cozy hotel or perhaps at Café Nucalacta. Trust me. Those pancakes are worth the stop. Next stop, the beating heart of Cuenca, Parque Calderón. Here, the impressive Cathedral de la Inmaculada Concepción steals the show with its blue and white tiled domes. Inspired by St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, this cathedral is a masterpiece of Roman and Gothic architecture. For a few dollars and a bit of courage, you can climb the vertiginous stone staircase to the cathedral's Santa Ana Terrace. The views from up there are nothing short of spectacular, but fair warning, a certain degree of fitness is required. After soaking up the laid-back atmosphere in the Shadi Plaza, we hope on the Cuenca tourist bus. For just five, this double-decker adventure gives us a bird's eye view of the city and its surroundings. There are two loops, but trust us, the Southern Loop steals the show. As we explore the historic center, Plaza San Francisco beckons with vibrant energy and a market where you can snag a dozen fresh roses for just a few dollars. For lunch, we adore Le Bistro, serving up delectable crepes, baguettes, and traditional French dishes right next to the cathedral. If shopping is your vibe, Plaza San Francisco is your haven. Negotiate for artisanal goods from Otavalo vendors or take a stroll down Calle Larga to explore the Panama Hat Museum. And if you're not into shopping, the Museo Puma Pungo is a treasure trove of pre-Columbian history, archaeology, and culture. As the sun sets on day one, we've only scratched the surface of Cuenca's wonders. Join us tomorrow for day two, where we trade cobblestone streets for the vast landscapes of Cajas National Park. Until then, keep exploring. Good morning, adventurers. Today, we're trading the cobblestone streets of Cuenca for the pristine wilderness of Cajas National Park. Day two promises an outdoor adventure like no other. Our day starts with a breath of fresh air. We're heading to Cajas National Park, about 22 miles west of Cuenca. Whether you catch a bus or hire a driver, the journey alone is a feast for the eyes. Our gateway to this natural wonderland is Laguna La Toreadora. Here you'll find a ranger station, a visitor center, and a cafe. Cachas National Park, with its high-altitude wetland beauty, is a mecca for outdoor enthusiasts. The park offers over 4,000 bodies of water, including picturesque lakes. Whether you're into hiking, rock climbing, trail running, or fly fishing, Cajas has it all. But before you hit the trails, don't forget to register at the ranger station. Hiking in Cajas is a unique experience. The trails, like Hike 1, take you through stunning landscapes, passing pretty lakes and a magical forest of paper trees. But fair warning, the altitude here requires good boots and plenty of layers. As the day winds down, we recommend savoring fresh trout at one of the restaurants lining the highway. Estancia San Juan and Hosteria Dos Correras are excellent choices, ensuring your trout was likely swimming just moments before it hits your plate. For a perfect end to an adventurous day, 
were heading to Beños for a soak in the thermal springs. Hosteria Duran and Novaqua Spa are our go-to spots, offering not only relaxation but also health benefits. These hot mineral waters are the perfect remedy for any aches and pains. As the stars twinkle above, our day two adventure comes to a close. Join us tomorrow for day three, where we unravel the secrets of Ingapirca Incan ruins. Until then, keep exploring the wonders of Cuenca. Good morning, explorers. As the sun rises over Cuenca, we're gearing up for our final day, a journey to the fascinating Ingapirca Incan ruins. Day three promises a glimpse into Ecuador's ancient past. Our adventure today takes us about an hour and a half from Cuenca to the majestic Ingapirca Incan ruins. It's a journey back in time, and we can't wait to explore the secrets of this archaeological treasure. Ingapirca, nestled at a high altitude amidst steep green hills, is not just a collection of ruins. It's a testament to the ancient Incan civilization. Covering around four hectares, it served as a fortress, a resupply post, and a center for ceremonial functions. Guided tours led by bilingual experts offer insights into the architecture, worship of the sun and moon, and the strategic importance of Ingapirca. The entrance fee is a mere two dollars, a small price for a journey into history. Adjacent to the ruins is a scenic hike that unveils natural wonders, including the striking Cara del Inca, a cliff face that, with a bit of imagination, reveals facial features. It's truly a surreal experience. As we wrap up our exploration, we recommend visiting the visitor center and museum. It's a chance to delve deeper into the history of Ingapirca and marvel at artifacts that connect us to this ancient civilization. As the sun sets over Ingapirca, we conclude our three-day adventure through Cuenca. For those looking to extend the journey, the Posada Ingapirca offers a rustic retreat just half a mile away. A night at Posada Ingapirca provides the perfect blend of comfort and tranquility. Tomorrow, we return to the vibrant streets of Cuenca, but for now, let's savor the peace and quiet of this rustic haven. Thank you for being part of Rediscovering Cuenca, a three-day adventure through Ecuador's cultural gem. If you enjoyed the journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, keep exploring. As the city lights twinkle in the distance, we bring our three-day adventure in Cuenca to a close. It's been a journey filled with history, culture, and the breathtaking beauty of Ecuador's cultural gem. We've strolled through the historic streets of Cuenca, immersed ourselves in the natural wonders of Cajas National Park, and explored the ancient mysteries of Ingapirca. But this is just a glimpse of what Cuenca has to offer. If this journey has sparked your curiosity, consider extending your stay. Cuenca's near-perfect climate welcomes exploration year-round, and who knows, you might find yourself enchanted enough to call it home, just like we did. Before we say goodbye, we want to hear from you. Share your favorite moments, or let us know if there's a hidden gem we missed. Keep the conversation alive in the comments below. Thank you for embarking on this adventure with us. If you enjoyed the journey, hit that like button, subscribe for more travel escapades, and don't forget to ring that bell to stay updated. Until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering. This is Terra Vista, signing off from the cultural gem that is Cuenca.